Welcome back to Pebble's tutorial series. I am Vikram and in this video, I will be talking about how you can configure SMTP server in Motic email settings. Before getting started, I would recommend to check the link in the description where you can find this tutorial, which might help you out in setting up SMTP server in Motic. What is Motic? So Motic is an open source marketing platform, which help you out for uh, setting up a high level experience for your audience in a way of creating campaign, uploading list, then creating a landing pages, more of a personalization emails and many more stuff. So in this video, we will be seeing uh, how you can set an SMTP server in Motic. So what are uh, the pre requirement for that? So first of all, you need to have a working Motic setup. If you have not installed Motic, then you can anytime visit this link over here and uh, set up a Motic server for you. Second one is an SMTP service provider like Peppy Post. More of you can find Mailgun SendGrid. Let's begin with step one installation. So if you have not yet installed Motic on your server, then you can anytime install uh, on Motic on CentOS 7, Ubuntu 18.04 and Windows. Here are the link where you can visit and uh, do the installation. We highly recommend to have 4 GB of RAM so that you can so, so that Motic application can run fluently and all the cron jobs that are synced with the Motic also runs fluently. Step two is an e uh, SMTP configuration. So Motic already has predefined SMTP service provider. If uh, your SMTP service provider is within the list of Motic by default uh, service providers, then you can choose and directly use your SMTP username and password from your SMTP service provider and directly start the mailing. If you are using Peppy Post as an email service provider, then you, you can easily set up an email uh, pipeline from Motic that can be done by following these steps. First of all, you need to log into Peppy Post account. If you don't have an Peppy Post account, uh, you can anytime sign up here and get 30,000 emails free. The second point is uh, get your domain approved. So all you need to do is uh, go to log into your Peppy Post account, go to settings tab and sending domain. Just add your domain and refresh. Once you have added the domain, then you need to go for SPF and DCAM setting. To know more about SPF and DCAM settings, you can anytime click here and learn more about why SPF and DCAM is necessary. So once you have configured your SPF and DCAM to uh, at the DNS level, then we can move forward while sending and first email. To get your domain pre -app fast approved, you just need to fill a form and pass on to our fast track approval team so that they can add your domain in the highest rated uh, slot so that your emails are triggered in no time. Once you have uh, logged in and uh, approved your domain, then you can check for SMTP username password by changing your tab to settings integration and you will be moved on to this tab where you can find host, port, authentication, more of username and password. Just save the SMTP username and password at one of the file at your end so that we can use in Motic. Now it's time to configure an email setting in Motic. Once you have grabbed your SMTP username and password from Peppybost panel, then you can just log into your Motic account. For example, so once you have logged into your Motic account, then you can move on to a settings tab at the right corner. And in that configuration, So in configuration, the first page will be this. We need to go to email settings. So in email settings, here are the, uh, the list of uh, SMTP service provider. If you have one of the account in this, then you can easily set up one by just clicking, let's suppose elastic email, then you need to add your username and password. If you are using Peppy Post, then you can opt for other SMTP service other SMTP servers and add the same as SMTP 
www.pepios.com port is 587 we recommend to uh, send mails to 587 it's more secure than other ports you can choose tls it's an encryption way of sending email from one server to another and authentication mode will be login so you can add your username over here and password over here just test the connection and just save and close over here once you are done with this uh, credential settings and setting up your uh, modic email settings then you are done with your email uh, pipeline in modic that's it for the video thanks for watching you can anytime subscribe to our uh, youtube channel so that you, you will be updated with products and more tutorials thank you